Road to GH will reveal exciting developments from November 4th to November 8th, 2024. First, Sidwell will soon arrive in Port Charles, carrying an unquenchable wrath and thirst for revenge. His arrival places immense pressure on Sonny, who currently holds the diamonds Holly stole and entrusted to him. If Sonny doesn't quickly auction and offload them, he could become Sidwell's target, and the likelihood of a confrontation is high. Sonny understands that every moment these diamonds remain in his possession brings unforeseen danger closer. As for Holly, she faces serious retribution from Sidwell. To him, the theft of these diamonds isn't merely a financial loss, but an unforgivable insult. He doesn't just want to recover his property. He wants Holly to pay a steep price for her actions. This makes Holly fear not only for her own life, but also for her loved ones. Sasha inadvertently gets pulled into this dangerous whirlwind, with Sidwell threatening to punish her as retribution against Holly. He might use Sasha as a tool to pressure Holly, forcing her to face the painful choice between protecting herself and her loved ones. Sasha becomes a pawn in Sidwell's revenge game, where a single misstep could lead her to a life-or-death situation. Sidwell's presence in Port Charles signals a series of dangerous events that plunge Holly, Sasha, and Sonny into unforeseen troubles. Second, Cyrus is responsible for Sam's tragic death after he covertly administered Digitalis into her IV bag, leading to her wrongful demise that left everyone in deep anger. Sam's passing has not only devastated her family, but also left her loved ones shocked and outraged. They demand justice and an appropriate punishment for the perpetrator of this brutal crime. However, Cyrus is a cunning figure with the ability to cover his tracks adeptly. He knows how to manipulate circumstances to evade the law, exploiting the lack of clear evidence to avoid accountability. Even though everyone suspects his involvement in Sam's death, Cyrus's schemes might allow him to temporarily escape the consequences. Sam's loved ones now bear the compounded pain of knowing that the criminal remains unpunished, fueling their outrage and determination to expose Cyrus. While he may evade justice for now, those who loved Sam won't abandon their efforts to bring him to light. Cyrus might escape for a while, but his cunning can't last forever as the truth gradually surfaces. Third, Sam's loss is a huge shock, especially for her children, Danny and Scout. Losing their mother has left them distressed and adrift, feeling lost amid a family struck by grief. Jason and Drew, each grieving in their own way, try to comfort, care for, and support Danny and Scout through this challenging time. Both men had deep affection for Sam, so facing their own sorrow while trying to stay strong for her children is an immense challenge. Dante, who loved Sam wholeheartedly, now suffers from indescribable pain. Losing Sam makes him feel as if his future has dimmed. He is forced to confront the harsh reality of a life without her, leaving his hopes and plans unfinished. He is lost in his grief, struggling to find a way forward but unable to escape his longing for her. Meanwhile, Alexis, Christina, and Molly also find themselves plunged into a family crisis. Losing a loved one forces them to grapple with their emotions. Searching for comfort and strength to confront this harsh reality, they share the pain of loss, supporting each other through the hardship, but each person is left with an unfillable void. Amidst this tragedy, they seek solace not only to find comfort, but also to preserve family unity during the most challenging of times. Next, Sam's sudden passing has left a profound void in the Davis family, especially for Molly and Christina. However, instead of coming together, the two sisters are caught in a spiral of anger and blame. The loss has not only saddened them, but also made them feel tormented by memories of their last tense encounter with Sam. This guilt makes it easy for Molly and Christina to vent their anger at each other, turning their shared grief into a personal conflict. Alexis, as their mother, feels exhausted by the endless clashes between her children. She hopes that in this painful time, they can set aside their differences to support each other and find comfort and strength in their family. Yet it seems Molly and Christina are still unable to let go of the hurt and pressure that troubles them. It may take time for them to realize that they need each other now more than ever. They will have to confront their complex emotions, learn to forgive, and rediscover empathy to overcome this tragedy and move forward together as a family. The time has come for the Davis sisters to unite, 
but the question remains whether Molly and Christina will find the strength to move past their pain and anger and reconnect with their family's love. Finally, Lulu's awakening from her coma brings a ray of hope to those around her, from Rocco, Laura, and Lucky, to Lucas and her close friends. They rejoice at her return, yet the sorrow and guilt over Sam's passing still weigh heavily on their hearts. While Lulu's return is a wish come true, the price has been Sam's irreplaceable loss, leaving them feeling even more remorseful and conflicted. A funeral for Sam will soon have to be held, deepening the wounds in their hearts. It will not only be a farewell to Sam, but also a painful reminder of the losses and fractures among her family and friends. They will have to face the harsh reality that Sam is gone forever, and the funeral may stir up emotions they have tried to bury. This moment allows everyone to honor Sam, but it also highlights the emptiness she has left behind. For Lulu, though her recovery is a miracle, waking up after everything has happened is far from joyful. As autumn approaches, she will gradually return to life, but her return is tinged with mixed emotions as she learns that Sam sacrificed herself to save her. Every moment of joy at having a second chance is tainted with bitterness, as Lulu must accept that she can only be with her family due to an irreversible loss. Thank you.